this is Pop Culture Hero, and today I will be playing Trampoline Terror. This is a good game from, um, from the Genesis. I used to play this game as a kid, and I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, you play tr tr this guy, who I assume is the Trampoline Terror, and the goal of the game is to attack these air fortresses by destroying the um, mines laid about on them. It's an easy game in the first couple levels, and then you move on and the game becomes more challenging. So it's very accessible in the beginning. It's something else. And it's also a very clever game. You see that? When I jump onto these, strangely covered colored tiles. These are the trampolines. If I jump on a green trampoline, I jump two extra spaces than I do normally, see? Anyway, I need to destroy all the switches on this space. Combos to you. Combos are an excellent way to get um, special power-ups like Time Freeze and, and Breaker, and you'll see them. Okay, here come the combos. I hit blue, 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 blue. There's a combo. Yellow, yellow. And I got warp. It's all about hitting the bombs with the same colors to trigger a combo. And it works very well. Doo -doo. Now the pea balls are a necessary addition to the game. They're kind of like rocks that bounce off of the mines, but they're super, super useful. Ah. The only problem is you have to collect them again after you use them. This stage is pretty easy. You're just supposed to activate these. And circle so they're trying to get on to me, but if I was going for a higher score, it would have been a much more challenging level. And that's the deal. There are two variations to most levels, one trying to reach all the combos, and one just trying to destroy the station. Okay, this level introduces a new enemy other than the ships and the turtles, and he eventually becomes a standard enemy, this bullet guy. Now, if you're wondering why I'm just walking straight up like this, it's because the um, level scrolls onto itself. Basconian, you know kind of what I mean. The level just sort of warps from one end of the screen to the next. Uh, this isn't really the best game to compare to Basconian. Um, that would be... Uh, Thunder Force 2 would be my game I do have close. He gets on your nerves the first time you play this game. But the trick to beating Bullet Guy, if I can just find the last mine. Let's see. It's right here someplace. I bet it's on the right, and I'm just not seeing it. So I'm just going to jump around. E, there's the last mine. That'll get me out of this stage. Alright. And the stage explodes quite beautifully, and we move on to stage six. I can usually do pretty good at this game, get about to um, stage 12 on a good day. But I'm not a professional at this game, and I assume if I had liked it more and wasn't so annoyed with the bullet man as a kid, um, I would have played a lot more of this game. Still, it is a graphically impressive title on the Genesis. But a lot of Super Nintendo players would have loved to see this game. I'm not sure there's a port available of it. But I doubt there is. It's it kind of obscure. Oh, that's what it looks like when I die. Yes, you can fall off these um, air fortresses. Anyway. I'm not really going for combos here. But you can kill multiple enemies with the people. Yes. That's the great thing about this game. When you kill multiple enemies with people, it's even better to me than just 
just getting these silly mind combos to work. Eh. And then again, if you do get the mind combos to work, it's kind of like the Matrix. I still have two switches to go. That's not good. Oh, I messed up the stage. Here it is. Alright. Well, this has been Pop Culture Hero. I hope that you've enjoyed this um, mini review of um, of my of my um, preferred Genesis title, uh, Trampoline Terror. Um, not really much of a score I can give it. It's it's really it's a beautiful game. It controls extremely well. You just there's just a jump and a fire button. Uh, Firing the pee fire button being the pee balls. Uh, there are a lot of different enemies and a lot of neat, neat little tricks that the game does later on. If if you're interested in a challenging game, this definitely has the challenge level. So, um, I mean, I'm, what I've just shown you are the first few basic levels that introduce the concepts of the game. Uh, once you get later on and farther on into it, it's much harder. Um, oh man, I, I can't even begin to describe how much harder it is. There's teleports and there's platforms that that disappear and reappear, and um, there's diagonal platforms and complex sequences of being chased by eight or nine or ten enemies at a time. And you just need that one pea ball to whap them away, but it just keeps falling off of the trampolines. This game can get maddening, even though it looks like a simple kid's game. Uh, kind of like Snake Rattle and Roll, if you've ever played that on the NES. Well, this has been Pop Culture Hero, and I give this game a solid uh, 7 out of 10 because it can be rather frustrating. But, for those looking for a challenge, it is worth picking up. This has been Pop Culture Hero, signing out. Thank you for watching.